Hi everyone, it's Helen here. Today I will be cooking another noodle dish and this dish will come from Hanoi and it's called bún chả. It's my personal favorite dish in Hanoi and I hope that you will like it too. It's basically grilled pork so with rice vermicelli and fresh vegetables but the way it is served is quite different from the southern bún thịt nướng so let's learn how to make it. Firstly, we're gonna slide the pork into thin slices. You can either use pork belly or pork shoulder with or without the skin. I prefer the pork with some fat on it so that when we grill it won't be too dry. To marinate the meat, we're gonna need a special Vietnamese caramel sauce. This is called nước mào or nước hàng. It can be bought in a small bottle at the Asian store, but I prefer making it myself. Basically, I melt the sugar under medium heat until the sugar is melted and turn into a caramel color. I occasionally swirl the pan so the sugar gets caramelized evenly. Then I take off the heat and add in some hot water. It's gonna splash, so be careful. I'm gonna marinate the pork with a tablespoon of sugar, one tablespoon of oyster sauce, a teaspoon of seasoning powder, two tablespoons of fish sauce, and 2 tablespoons of minced shallot. Shallot is a very important ingredient to marinate pork. If you don't have it, you can replace with the white part of spring onion, but don't skip it. And finally, 2 to 3 tablespoons of the caramel sauce that we made earlier. The caramel sauce will give the pork a very nice color after grilling. It can be replaced by honey or molasses. Okay, so we mix well and let marinate for at least 30 minutes or a few hours in the fridge. If you like eating minced pork, you can also use it. We can marinate it with the same recipe. This is a very good recipe to marinate real pork. Even if you don't like making bún chả, you can still use this recipe to marinate the pork for your next grill party. And I'm sure everyone will like it. The caramel sauce can be used for many other caramelized dishes. You can make a lot at one time and store it in a jar like this. So just follow the recipe exactly and mix the pork really well. So to make pickled vegetables for this dish, you can use um, kohlrabi or a green papaya and carrots. We're gonna slide them thinly into bite-sized dishes. Vietnamese like to put pickled vegetables in many dishes because it helps digesting and it also adds more texture and flavor to the food. If you want to prune or carve the carrots into flowers, after peeling, you cut the carrots into half. Then make a shallow V-shaped cut along the carrots like this. You can make a few of the cuts around the carrots depending on how many petals you want the flower to have. After that, just slide them thinly into slices and you will have a bunch of beautiful carrots flowers. So here I have one cup of uh, kohlrabi and one cup of carrot slices. I'm gonna mix them with two to three teaspoons of salt. Mix well and set aside for 15 minutes. This will help to pull the water out of the vegetables and make it more crunchy. After 15 to 20 minutes, you will see the vegetable produce a lot of water. Just get rid of that and rinse the vegetables under cold running water for a few times. Slightly sweep off the excess water and put them back to the bowl. Mix that with a tablespoon of sugar and two tablespoons of vinegar. These sweet and sour pickles will make the dish a lot more appetizing. Mix well and set aside for about an hour. The 
best way to grill pork is of course to use charcoal. As I mentioned earlier, this is a very good recipe to uh, marinate pork for grilling. And <laughs> I served this during our barbecue party recently and my friend all love it. It smells really amazing and the color is so beautiful. This is a very typical Vietnamese grilling basket that I bought in Vietnam. I really like it. It's very handy and you can easily flip it over and over. You can just simply stuff this in the pocket together with some pickled vegetables and oh, it's so good already. we don't always have the luxury to grill the pork outdoor on charcoal so um, this is the solution if you do it indoor preheat the nasty pan over medium high heat and spread a thin layer of pork over it if the pork has uh, so little fat you can add in one tablespoon of vegetable oil uh, in the marinade when one side is golden brown, you just turn it over with a spatula. Grill a few minutes on each side until the pork is fully cooked. For the minced pork, you can just um, form them into patties and also fry in a pan or grill over charcoal like earlier. Just grill until both sides are going brown. When you press in the middle of the patty and you feel that it's firm and not bouncy, it's cooked. Like many other Vietnamese noodle dishes, we're gonna serve bún chả with a platter of uh, fresh vegetables. A typical herb to use is a Vietnamese balm, rau cân dưới. Also some mint, lettuce, uh, coriander and bean sprouts. The dipping sauce for this dish is very light. So in a saucepan, I dissolve half a cup of sugar, half a cup of fish sauce in 3 cups of water. The ratio I'm using is 1 sugar, 1 fish sauce and 6 water. Dissolve the sugar completely under medium low heat. To assemble the dish, we're gonna fill the bowl half full with the dipping sauce. Add in the grilled pork and grilled pork patty, some mint garlic and chili if you like spicy, and then a few slices of pickled uh, kohlrabi and carrots. The floating minced garlic, chili and carrot flowers make a very nice presentation for this dish. To serve, you dip a bit of uh, fresh vegetables and the fluffy rice vermicelli into the sauce and have a bite together with the grilled pork and pickles. Mm, I'm sure this is one of the best things that you ever tasted. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Bye bye.